Hello everyone, y'all are with Tanija Ali of Butterfly Transformations and today I'm talking about karmic relationships. I had a question on the channel. A lady asked, how do you know that a karmic relationship has run its course? And as I began to answer, I said, you know what, let me talk about this on the channel because it's really an important topic. Um, so just to go ahead and dig in, a karmic relationship, if you don't know, is a type of soulmate relationship. Twin flame relationships, uh, karmic relationships, soulmate relationships, meeting your divine life partner, all of these are fate and destiny kinds of relationships. Fate meaning something that has been ordained to happen. Destiny meaning once that happens, what you make of it. But a karmic relationship is a relationship really that comes into your life to teach you something about yourself. It's my opinion that a karmic relationship is a relationship that comes into your life to teach you more about self-love. And so <clears throat> a karmic relationship, it really tests you. It tests you in the sense that it's usually a difficult relationship. It has and can have a negative cycle to it. You can have a series of karmic relationships to learn the lessons that you need to learn ultimately that will bring you closer to the ideal in terms of self-love. And I define self-love as a state of being. Um, it's a state of being that allows you to honor your somebodyness. It's the energy that you bring to life that allows you to nurture, to safeguard, and to honor only those things that affirm your body, mind, and spirit. In other words, having a sense of self-love, for me, I feel if you have self-love, then you elevate um, more and more until you reach I don't know if there's ever a way to reach a pure state of self-love, but you continue to elevate and ascend in your life and make the kinds of decisions that align with the degree of self-love that you have. And a lot of us can probably look over our lives and see um, the progress in markers such as relationships, um, requiring more in relationships, uh, not making the same kinds of mistakes that we once used to make. Being able to look back and say, you know what? I would never do that again. I've outgrown that. So you've grown in your degree of self-love. You learn, have learned something from your experiences. So how do you know when a karmic relationship has run its course? In my mind, you know that a karmic relationship has run its course when you're able to leave it. When you're able to disembody the energy of the relationship. When you're able to disentangle from the negative cycle, the patterns of the ups and downs, the, the massive dysfunction. A karmic relationship is very dysfunctional and it never levels up. No matter how many times the two people may reconcile and come back together and decide that they're going to do this or decide that they're going to do that. And oftentimes in karmic relationships, if it's a really base level relationship, there won't even be that level. It'll just be a constant chaos, a constant set of circumstances that you find yourself always embroiled in that has highs and lows. And no matter what goes on, it continues, the cycle continues to repeat itself and you don't find yourself ever really elevating in that relationship. That person never changes. You are not able to be your best self with that person. You'll find that it takes a toll on you emotionally. It takes a toll on your physical health. It will no doubt take a toll on your financial health. It takes a toll on your mental and spiritual health. You cannot up level in these relationships because they keep your vibration very low. Why do we have these relationships? I think we have them as the creator's way of helping us to return to a state of wholeness because it's through these kinds of relationships and it's through the purging that you do in these relationships when you finally are able to break the cycle that you come into a greater sense of who you really are, what you really deserve. And you come to know yourself on an entirely different level that helps you make decisions in your life that help you live a better life. Because my opinion is that it's 
the quality of life that you have is directly tied to the degree to which you love yourself. Everything goes back to who you really are. Everything goes back to you recognizing your divinity. Everything goes back to you understanding that you were born and created in a state of wholeness and that it's only through societal programming, conditioning, and learned behavior that you got to a point where you didn't understand what self-love was really about or that you allowed yourself to be in situations which didn't honor you and that you yourself did things to yourself that didn't honor you. So how do you know when a karmic relationship has run its course? You know when you're embroiled in a, first of all, you know when you realize it's a karmic relationship, which in my opinion, opinion is why it's so important to know what kind of relationship you're actually in. Because if you know and you can identify the different types of relationships, then you know what the life cycle is, you know what some of the expectations are, and you know what the road ahead can hold to some degree, although there's an unpredictability in everything. But if you know, for example, what a karmic relationship is, and you meet someone and you engage with that person and you start seeing some of those signs. And by the way, I have a video, I think it's called Eight Signs of a Karmic Relationship. It's on my Butterfly Transformations um, YouTube channel. But I give literally what I feel are some eight hallmark signs, eight key signs that help you to know that you're in a karmic relationship. Because oftentimes you can confuse these relationships with twin flame relationships. You can confuse these relationships with the harmonious or a certain type of soulmate relationship, even if, even though it is a soulmate relationship, but it's not the kind of relationship that's going to sustain the test of time and help you to move forward in your life. And it's more than a kind of relationship where you come into contact with someone and you learn something that helps you move on in your journey at a level that doesn't really break you down and doesn't put you into a dark night of the soul. I've had a series of karmic relationships and I now know beyond a shadow of a doubt what the differences are and I can see what lessons I was supposed to learn in these karmic relationships. And as you begin to free yourself from the baggage of these karmic relationships, you really can live a life that is emotionally fulfilling, that moves you forward, that affirms who you are, that gives you um, a balance in your life and that really nurtures your sense of self-worth and what you will put on this earth to do in terms of your divine life path. A karmic relationship never allows you to grow. A karmic relationship stifles you. A karmic relationship will no doubt take you off of your karmic path. It will take you away from your family. It competes for everything in your life and takes everything with the exception of your last breath. <laughs> Like literally, a karmic relationship is very uh, parasitic and you really pay a price. So you know when it is ended or when it's time to leave, when you have reached such a, such a level where you feel like you're mired in chaos and your life has run so far off course, your finances have been drained, you are emotionally and physically drained and you have to ask yourself, what am I getting out of this situation? Um... In a karmic relationship, a person does not affirm you, a person does not affirm your values, a person does not respect you, a person mistreats you. And a lot of times this can be covert level kinds of things. It doesn't have to be a relationship where someone um, uh, uh, very overtly calls you names and, and, and says horrific things to you. A karmic relationship a lot of times can exist on a subtle level. But as I said, one of the key markers is that the relationship de-energizes you. It doesn't make you feel well and it has a repetitive cycle to it that continues and continues and continues and oftentimes is marked by highs and lows. Very different from a soulmate relationship that was not designed to last in that you may not get along with that person. You may have some issues and may be arguing and so forth, but there's not a sense that God, this person is sucking the life out of me. I'm drained on every level. And there's this constant chaotic nature to it that can strip you of your life force energy. That's the difference between a soulmate relationship that wasn't designed to last, but was designed to teach you a lesson about yourself and a karmic relationship, which is designed to bring you to such a level where you come face to face with 
who you are, what you need, what areas you need to grow in and how it is that you've allowed this person to treat you this way because you did not understand who you actually were and you did not really value yourself in a way where if you did, there'd be no way you could even be in an association of this type. So a karmic relationship has run its course when you are able to leave that situation upon realizing that it is a dead end situation and that it is sucking the very life force out of you. If you are in a karmic relationship, you need to remove yourself and disentangle yourself from that relationship because inevitably it will not go anywhere. It will not allow you to up level your life. It will not allow you to, to um, be on your divine life path. It will not give you a sense of emotional fulfillment. It will drain you physically. It will drain you mentally, spiritually, emotionally. And one of the key signs is that it will drain you financially. You will find that you are never able really to move forward in this person's life. And it seems as though you are helping them and they are draining you. You will know that you are in a karmic relationship when it is not a two-way street and you feel as though you're constantly giving, 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 and the person is not giving back. And the cycles of dysfunction and chaos and confusion and drama just continue in a circle and you feel like you're on a hamster. You're on a hamster wheel going around and around and around and around. So get out of that karmic relationship. You with Tanisha Ali of Butterfly Transformations, helping you to gain clarity, to clear and heal your emotional and energetic blockages, up-level your mindset, and manifest the glory of God that is within you. We have started our 30-day self-love challenge on Patreon. Shout outs to all of my beautiful Butterflies and Transformation on the Patreon.com slash Tanisha Ali channel. If you want to join us, it is not too late. We just finished up our 11-day money manifesting challenge about a week ago, and we're diving into this for the next 30 days. It's going to be powerful. We're going to really get into the nitty-gritty of what self-love is all about, because believe me, if you're in a karmic relationship, it is because you don't love yourself enough and you don't know who you really are. But self-love can mask itself behind getting our fingers done, doing our hair, putting on our makeup and appearing to be confident in the world. But that has nothing to do with leveling up and learning to self-love yourself. So join us on Patreon. Love y'all. Have a beautiful day.